Hello there everyone, this is Iron Mark III and welcome back to Gunsmith, where I don't think I'm going to be out going out of business just yet. I've actually got enough camo vests to fulfill an order, so let's go ahead and do that. that that's the whole point, isn't it? I'm supposed to be fulfilling orders. Um, I've got 400 gloves in storage apparently, but there's not much I can do about that. I just need to, I just, it's just I'm not producing a lot of stuff, you know? I'm too specialised, I've only got two lines. I've, I got so caught up on optimizing the existing lines, it's like, you know, I spent a whole bunch of money and time sorting this one out, and then it, I don't even need it <laughs> right now, because I've just got too many gloves in storage. Same deal with um, this one. I mean, I've, I've got a whole thing. It's actually running at maximum efficiency for the equipment I've got, but it was intended to be doubled up, and I can't do that, really. There's also the question of what happens if you load a different final product into the same thing. Because it says it can only hold so many final products. So... Is that is that the maximum count, the one that's most in it? Or will it mix them? I don't really know. It's something I need to test. I've got to admit, but I don't have the finances to really test anymore, because quite frankly, I'm kind of in a bit of a bit of a, a bad place as far as all of my resources are going, and the fact I can't produce vests very quickly. I will make them. As, look at this guy; he actually wants an SA Mark II. There's no way I could actually have access to that right now. Are you actually done yet? No, I'm. I, I mean, I'm still all the way down here. SA two is like. Yeah, that, so there it is. The SA Mark II is all the way down here, so I can't actually do that one in any way, shape, or form. So it's a, it's a Mark One. It needs 120 of those in three hours. Actually, I might be able to do that one. Well, I could if I was, if I had a better start, at least. <laughs> Ooh. What I really need, though, is to make camo backpacks and cam camo trousers. Just get some of the get some more of this stuff in stock for people who want to, you know. The problem is, if I try to build a new line, how much is it going to cost me? It's going to cost me, uh, what, 16? I might be able to do it. I think I'm also out of material again. Yes, yes, I am. I've just spent 7,000 on getting a 1,000 um, fabric into stock for continuing production of these. But I really, 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 really need... Um, I really need to get stuff sorted out. Also, I can't afford to run an additional line. I've just looked at it. 365 out of 500. How much would it cost me to upgrade my power supply? Uh, power, power, power. Where? Ut uh, utilities, power. 2,000. Provides more power. Doesn't say how much... Oh, it only says cost. It doesn't say how much it actually gives. But apparently I can move them up slightly. Yep, there goes another thousand. Oh. I'm, yeah, I think I might have accidentally sunk myself in this one. It's getting kind of tricky. How many of these do I even have? Actually, it looks like it might be a hundred each. Because I've got um, a bunch of those. I've also got this little gas box there. I'm just kind of jamming utilities into this place now, aren't I? Like, I've got 100 water, but I don't need water at all. <laughs> my, my poor gun factory. Oh, I, I tell you, though, I may have horribly messed this up, and there is actually a massive amount of space left in this, in this facility to keep on doing stuff. And I haven't reached my cookie make. Whoa, 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 hang on. There's some more doodads around the place. I might be able to actually do something about this. Yay! Also, I don't know what... Oh, oh those are just lockers. Um, let's see if I, f if I can fill any more orders. 120. I've got 120 vests. Can't do that. I mean, even that one is a relatively simple one. Needs 200 vests. 
Uh, I've only got seven that. Ooh. Ooh, actually. Can I? Well, a single line requires five of those. I've still got this one, which has not actually spat out its stuff. So I've got two out of a requisite five to build an exact duplicate of the line. I don't have the sewing machines and stuff. I'd need to remake all that. But I've got another melter. I've got a boxer. I suspect I might be able to just channel things straight into a single one. Are there any more machines lying around the place? Oh, that, that's actually an expansion zone over here, apparently, I think. There's some, some kind of button. Yeah, there we go. Um, 120k to expand into that particular spot. Oh, if I hold shift, I can move around faster. Okay, that's good to know. Right. So. Nothing else here. So, I've just got these machines lying around down here. I've got my entire production line for gloves, which is lying dormant right now. That's also a thing. So, I, I could try to do that. Or... Well, that, that, that requires backpacks and trousers. Camo vests, camo vests, camo vests, gloves, vests, trousers. If I just do trousers, I might be able to do something. I think I'm really hurting because I didn't branch out and start producing all the bits, you know? Like, every last single piece of gear that I could. There's also no way in heck I can reach bullets easily. Bullets take absolute ages. Um, cost me 10,000 to research that. Shakers. Material from items such as water from bullets. What? Bullets? Do bullets need a... Cooling machine waste shaker. Ah, needs a waste shaker. I see. So there's water involved in the production. So I'd need water if I was making the bullets. Is there anything back here I don't have? Um, I think my... Oh, it cost me to go down this route. It cost me to go down that route. Let's research water, at least. So we've got all utilities available. But I've been paying maintenance on these guys, and I didn't even know I had them. Hmm. What can I even do about all of this? <laughs> I really do think if I was to... It requires sewing level 2. If I really think if I start to throw some other stuff into here, it would actually be able to deal with it. Because the boxer says it builds up a box of X and then it kicks it out. So I think that's what it does. At least. So I can... Um, let's check my cookbook. Right, to make combat boots... I need a uh, sew... Uh, I need boot soles. Which actually requires a double former process. I can't click on the thing. But fabric boot requires one and one. It doesn't require this. It requires level one sewing before the end of line, not level two. I could try to merge these lines. But it's going to be an absolute nightmare to try and do so. So, instead I'm going to try and work my magic somewhere else. Like, try and fill an order, because if I don't, I'm going to go bankrupt, you know, slightly. Oh, I can just afford that one. 24k, yes, please. Money! Okay, I can actually do a thing. I can do a thing. Right. Let us get this slapped together as fast as possible. You know? Right. Also, I need to scrap you before something else comes up. Okay. So... We got the ba we got a boxer. Okay. We need to produce um we need to produce we need well let's let's actually get the merger out here first. Oh, that finished. Okay. Right. Let's just keep going on up the bullet line, but it's going to take days and days and days to even finish that. So, you are going to be making Backpacks, right? Which requires a backpack with level 1 zipping and a plastic fitting. 
Okay, we've got another split situation just like over here on our hands, actually. So we can actually get two of these guys running without any issues. Let's get one running for now because how much is a... How much is a merger? Uh, a splitter is one and a half grand to produce. Actually, that's not too bad. Put it like there. That's absolutely fine. We just need to put in the belts over here to another merger, which will have to be over here. Like that. And these guys will both be producing camo backpacks. Do the camo backpacks need anything here? They need sewing level 2. Same as, the, same as these guys over here, actually. So if we're going to test this, we might as well do it with now. And we'll throw the belt as far as here. Because it only, it, for finishing, it only requires level 2. So, in the name of science, because this is, the, after all, the last part. We've got 10 more minutes. In the name of science, I will throw things at the wall and hope they stick. Because, quite frankly, I'm running out of money a little bit here. So, that produces that. Um, this will be fed for plastic fittings at a rate of 1 per. Jolly good. So that means we require a former. We've got all these extra things in here. A former, which will also supply more like that. Oh, I think we, I think we might have, have a problem because the flow splitter turns off as well. Okay. So former, and that that requires two of these. To feed it with metal with plastic blocks, as we discovered before. Which requires one meter belts, if I'm going to do it in this manner. Ah, uh, yeah, look at this. I've got contracts and things just decreasing over time. Okay, one meter belt. Okay, that fits there. That, that produces there. Research of bullet top are finished. Okay, you guys. I will set you guys really quickly up to plastic belts. Plastic blocks, sorry. Also, we need to buy some more of those. Oh, we're actually running short of a lot of things. Nine thousand. Why does our why does our reputation keep decreasing? I guess it does it decrease over time naturally. Is that a thing? Because I don't remember any orders expiring. Oh, I think we actually did lose an order. Or two. Okay, right. Two plastic goes into one heat preheater, which will out... Yep, almost forgot. Which will output boot fittings, which goes into here. This feeds it into the existing line, which will sew it all up into backpacks. Um, yep, that's all that. So, the other thing we need is the fabric backpack, which requires a level one zipping. What... Do I need to make the fabric backpack? Requires three fabric sheets to one. So it's the same kind of deal, actually. Okay. So three three fabrics to one. Then it requires a zipping up. And then we need to separate it. That's yep. And then this needs to run all the way around here. Slight bit of lag there. It doesn't quite register sometimes when I'm putting it when I'm starting to drag the belts. I've noticed that. So I've put it like that. That'll split it. There's the zipper, which um, I should leave on. Same with that. There's the splitters, which will separate the, the stuff as required. 
Okay. So, that's that. Then we'll be merging off two sewing machines, which require three of these each. Uh, I can't afford that. I need another order to fill. Quickly, guys. Give me another 19,000 for 200 camo vests. I really wish I was already making backpacks, but I am not. Ooh. 24,000 on this one, actually. I can sell off uh, the bulk of my camo gloves as well. That might be a good one. Okay, so zipper, flow splitter will give me the fabric backpacks with a single zipping on it. That's good. Come on, give me the stuff. I need the stuff. There's the stuff. Okay, right. And sold. I have money again. Ha ha! The noble arms trade can continue. Like that. You guys are both going to be outputting a uh, fabric backpack. This is going to be a fancy stuff here. Because each of these requires three dispensers to operate at f full efficiency. Actually, what happens if I, um... Ooh, that almost fits perfectly, actually. Won't fit on that side, but it does on this side. That'll cut it. And then we, are, we just need to fit in the dispensers over this side as well. Oh, that is perfect, actually. I just wish they weren't white when I was moving them around, because that makes it a bit tricky to see. Right. You guys are going to be outputting fabric sheets. All of the fabric sheets. So this is going to be a monster for fabric sheets. But this is actually a full output line we've got being set up here. This is only a half line that I've got producing, um, producing the uh, actual vests. This is a full-fledged beast that I'm putting together here. Oh, yes. Make no mistake. It's going to be a monster. We can produce backpacks for everyone. <laughs> All will fear the backpack kick. Ah, yes. I don't know who the backpack pack can... Uh, the, 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 who the backpack king is, but um, I assume he sounds important. Yes. Right. If I just turn it that way, then turn that way. There we go. So that'll feed straight into that. And there we go. That'll run off all of those. So that will... This complex here will produce a huge, huge, huge amount of stuff. Now, the only question is if this will work with it here or if it needs to be in a separate packer. That part, I do not know. Still, let's actually go ahead and add the stuff in. Let's turn on the... Make sure all the parts are active. You're on, you're on. You're on. Final double check. You're all set. Okay. We are good to put this thing together. Just adding all the things. We just don't have the we don't have the power to turn this on a lot at the same time as the rest of it. So I will once a, actually you know what? We researched this, we might as well use it. Power one for two thousand smackaroonies. There we go. We've got some funding left, but we've got a massive boost in power. We can turn this thing on. Live, my pretty! It lives, it lives, it's flowing! It's producing backpacks now. Here comes the backpacks. Right, are you doing okay? Ooh, there's a little bit of... Oh, there's a slight problem. Um... Actually, it seems to have straightened out now, but... Oh, no, there's a little bit of confusion there. Okay. Look at that flow, though. Look at the flow. Oh, that, that's that's wrong, actually. There we go. <laughs> they were going into the wrong machine. <laughs> uh, whoops. And that is now stacking into... 
You're receiving camo vests and you are receiving... Ooh, that's looking a bit unsteady. Okay, um... Ten. Oh, darn it. Okay, we got a problem. Shut the line down, boys. Shut it down. Right. Look at all the backpacks just jostling for position. <laughs> Uh, pardon me, it's just like bouncy, bouncy. No, this is. I have right of way. No, I have right of way. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so, what's going on is that it's boxing the any. This boxes the first twenty items and just stuffs them into a box. Doesn't seem to matter right now, but it offends my sensibilities, really. So, I like things to be a bit more organised than that. Which means I need to actually strip all this out from here. And I will separate it. So I'll be making use of this. And I'll need to install the additional sewing machines to make it all happen. Because quite frankly, that was just silly. What was going on there? <laughs> no, no denying that. But on the bright side, that does mean that um, it, I, I answered the question for science, you know? There we go, and that'll send the boxes up there. That'll all get sorted. Th there, there was a bit of confusion on the lines over... Ooh, hello. There's a bit of stuff jammed down the sides there as well. So there's a few problems. Um, there's something there too. Suck that up. Just there. So these, these merging onto the lines seems to be having a few issues. So that's causing some friction. When things are merging together... Ooh. How did you get down there? Still, I think we've got a fully functional packing bag line here. We just need to... We just need that little bit of separating. On the bright side, it's working. Also, I'm almost bankrupt, so I need to really find something really quick to sell my stuff to. Uh, we got camo vests. We've got camo backpacks. We don't have trousers. So we've got three of the lines. We're, we're making backpacks pretty darn quick, actually. Oh, that's a camo vest line. Come on, camo vests. You are my only hope. As the backpacks come storming down the line. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I've, um, I'm have i actually passing the 20... I've, well, if I'm not passing, I've already passed the 20-minute mark now on this last part, this fifth piece. And I've learned a lot from this first factory. Like, I know the, the sheer importance of... Turning on all your machines. That's useful. <laughs> of course I did that. <laughs> um, we're also, I'm also out of fabric. I think I think this might be it, actually. Uh, oh, no. I can just meet that order. Ta-da! We have money! Yay! I survived bankruptcy by the narrowest of margins. I'm also completely out of material. Um... I think that re I think I really I really need that recycling plant to be quite honest with you. There we go. But yeah, I've learned a lot from this first factory. It's really it really pays to check out the recipes in detail and work out how many of each machine you work. It helps keep the cost down if you work out how many things you can feed through at, and at what rate. It gets complex if you work things out like this. Uh, that's sort of stuck there. So there's definitely some optimizations that need to be done for these these guys. Oh dear. It can get a bit complex if you're trying to build for density, but you've got to get lines of all materials and all things if possible. Like I'm actually going to turn this line on here as well. Power on! So we're now actually supplying gloves. We're producing gloves, we're producing vests, we're producing backpacks. It's all humming away nicely. Very nicely, actually. Um, apart from the fact I've got to turn off, turn on the, the boxer for the backpacks. <laughs> oh, that is so bloody typical. <sighs> I, I was scrambling for resources, and it's like, hey, idiot, you didn't turn on the one of the boxing machines. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, but yeah, it's very, if you can bounce stuff, you can do a lot here. But you've got to be producing everything you can to meet all the orders because the orders require bunches of different things mixed together. 
Like, I'm still not making trousers. And that means that actually a lot of the things, a lot of the um, offers I've been given so far, I can't actually take them because most of them require trousers and I'm just not making any. Even if it's inefficient, if as long as I had a line producing trousers, it would it would be okay. Has any more backpacks fallen off? Oh, no, I'm just knocking off sheets, apparently. Hmm. It's a bit, a bit too dense on here. It's having trouble merging the lines together. I think having the opposing merging system is really good. Why is that on the floor? Come on, guys, that's important material. Oh. Apparently I'm oversaturating the delivery system a little bit too. I think. <laughs> I don't know. But still, yeah. This has been Iron Mark III playing Gunsmith. First hands on. Gone in having seen only a video until now. And it's actually pretty good. I like it. I want to play this some more, and I'll definitely be watching this game going forward. It's a very solid production management game, and apparently in the course of this little mini-series, I have indirectly caused nearly 3,400 deaths. Also, I'm about to go bankrupt again. <sighs> and I don't think I can... I can't take any orders because... Well, I can take some of them. Well, actually, I can take this one. Um, I'm producing the, the backpacks pretty quick. I'm slow on the camo vest, but I'm actually decent speed on the backpacks. There is, however, a certain rate that these things can be loaded. It seems. Let's put the box away. I don't know. But yeah, this has been Mark III thing. Uh, wait, I've already done that. Damn it. Yeah. Gunsmith, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and my usual complete and utter shambles of an outro. Why is there a... Oh, that one lost the ward, didn't it? Okay, I'll just scoop it up. And I scooped up a vest by accident as well. I think it's all too dense, actually. It's... Why is there another box down there? What I need is a one of those sloped conveyors picking at the end of this going upwards. Then if a box doesn't get picked up off here, it goes up and it cycles back around. I think that would increase the throughput on these things, actually. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's a thought. If it, if it goes low enough. No. That's a separate thing down there. I don't get the point of these raised and lowered things. Unless it's like... It avoids jostling or something on the merging lines. Because you, you lift a material up and then it tips it down onto the thing. Or something like that. Not entirely sure. Right side, I can take this one and avoid bankruptcy for a little while longer. Money! Yay! But yeah, once again, finally, I've got to wrap this up. I, I, my closing thoughts have taken an extra five minutes or so onto this video. Jeez. Yeah, thanks for watching and see you all later. <laughs> yeah. This is not a bad game at all. A little bit buggy though, it still feels like it's cheating when I do that. As I have the lines splitting around themselves like that. Hmm. 